Hello and happy new year. I hope 2023 is your best year yet. Today's video is going to talk about the St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment Program, the amendments for 2023. So all the amendments are effective as of the 1st of January 2023. Currently, there's four options for St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment. One being the National Economic Fund, which is a donation into the National Economic Fund. A second is the new National Action Bond, which I want to talk about more in a little bit. There's also the Real Estate Project, which is government-approved real estate for citizenship, as well as the Enterprise Project for citizenship. So the National Economic Fund donation has remained the same, so there's no changes. It currently remains priced at U.S. 100,000 donation for a single applicant, U.S. 140,000 donation for a couple, and U.S. 150,000 for a family of four. Now new for the year 2023 is the National Action Bond, which is a government bond option. So previous to the introduction of this new bond option was the COVID-19 relief bond option. So the COVID-19 relief bond was a government bond and it varied depending on, on the number of applicants included in, in an application as well. There were varying time periods for holding of the bond. So the new bond is available regardless of the number of dependents that you want to include in an application. It is a $300,000 non-interest bearing government bond to be maintained and held for five years. There's also an administrative fee of US 50,000 as well as legal fees and due diligence fees. Another amendment that they made this year for the program is the reduction in fee under the government approved real estate project option. So it used to be priced at 300,000 and now it is at 200,000. There's limited options available under the real estate option for citizenship for St. Lucia. We've actually never helped anyone under this particular option. As well, there is the enterprise project option, which we have not as well helped anyone with this option. Part of the reason why is maybe because it's higher price point. It's at 3.5 million and or 6 million under the enterprise project investment option. So other changes to citizenship by investment program include the fee for newborn children, so children that are below the age of 12 months. The fee for registering them as a citizen went up from $500 to $5,000. So this is another significant change that we've seen in the citizenship by investment program. Provided you're someone that wants to do a real estate project and have your real estate project approved, they have introduced a fee of due diligence fee of $7,500 um, for, for the individual who is proposing the real estate project. As well, they have increased the fee for anyone who's lost or damaged their certificate of citizenship. So depending on the country where you do citizenship by investment, when you become registered as a citizen, you get what's called either a certificate of naturalization or a certificate of registration. A certificate of certificate is what is called in certain countries. And so this just kind of summarizes all the changes for the citizenship by investment program for 2023. There's not as many changes as there are for other programs. If you'd like to get in more information or a specific cost quotation, or you have any question regarding St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment, you can send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com or visit our website at jhmarlin.com. I really do hope that 2023 is your best year yet. A happy new year. All the best. Bye for now.